really, really loud sound of how he's opening the jar and then how the plate is sliding over the table. Today we're gonna look at a super nicely edited intro by a photographer called Alan Palander and teach you a little bit about how you can improve your videos with sound effects. So hello friends and welcome back to yet another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Florian and in this series I'm breaking down and analyzing some of your favorite creators edits to teach you a couple things about filmmaking, video editing and one of the most important things to improve your video quality is to use sound effects to really give more of a feel and some ambience to your footage and Alan Palander has made a really really good tutorial on this and in the beginning he showed a very cool intro and that one we're gonna analyze today and see what he did there what kind of sound effects he used. So let's jump over to the computer and look at that one. The clip we're gonna be looking at is just about one minute long but it's a really really good edit. It's got a lot of super nice fast pacing and the sound design on this one is one of the best I've ever heard. Alan! 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 Al! Alan! Alan! So it starts with this establishing shot where you only see half of his face on the left hand side here and aside from his alarm tone you also hear the vibration of the phone and you hear it just as if though you were that person lying in bed there. And there already, like the first couple of clips, super fast paced before even the music starts. You hear him throwing the blanket, go in the bathroom, brush his teeth, turn on the water hose, and then starts to beat the music. And it's really nicely edited to the beat of the really fast paced music, and he's cutting on every single beat. Okay, let's just quickly look at that montage again. It was super fast, there were so many cuts. Here you hear the chopping of the onions super loudly and the cutting on the board goes to the same beat of the music. Then the sound of putting the vegetables in the frying pan. Really, really loud sound of how he's opening the jar and then how the plate is sliding over the table. Closing his shoelaces, zipping up the zipper, locking the door. And then that breath, the exhaling breath, the moment that he's coming up. And so those were probably like 15, 20 clips. I didn't actually count them, but to each one of them, he added a fitting sound effect. And if you want to do that, you have a couple of different options. The first one is you directly record that sound in camera and that you can do by, for example, having an external microphone. I'm recording this one with an external microphone right now, which you can see down here. That one you can put on your camera. If you can't get it directly out of camera, you can take an audio recorder and record a sound effect right next to, for example, holding it directly next to the pan. And the last option is to find sound effects online. There are two different resources that I use for that. One is a free website that's called freesound.org and the other one, which is also why he made this tutorial, is a paid service that's called Epidemic Sound, where you can get thousands of different sound effects. Probably find each one of these sounds that he used here on that side. And quick bonus info, I also found the actual song that he's been using for this. So if you want to make a similar edit like Alan, then you can find the name to the song in the description down below. And what's also really interesting about this video is the pacing. So after this really, really fast montage to the fast paced music, he takes a pretty long pause on that breath. How loudly do you hear the breathing? And then the music sets back in. He continues the tempo, he continues to count that fast as before. A lot of fast cuts and to each one he adds the fitting sound effect. So here how he's grinding. Then the moment he jumps in the water, you hear the water splashing. And what's also very important with sound effects is that you level them out correctly with the background music. So for example here, he's dragging the shower curtain and it's very loud and very present and you hear it. With sound effects it can oftentimes be a bit tricky and that takes a lot of practice to make them not too loud to overtone the music, but at the same time not too silent to not be heard. And here it is like perfect levels. And what I really want you to take away from this video is that to each significant motion or object or action in the video, you can add sound effects and it adds so much more quality to your video and another level of depth that really draws the viewer in. Here the moment opening the door from the bus. Then here the honking to a car always works very well and then a cycle. The sound of the cycle bell does sound very much like he edited in post and this one is very, very loud compared to how far away you see the bike. And then here, just for that couple of frames, you hear the splashing water. The fire car, and then it adds on the last beat of the music with a big hit and going to black. And then comes another longer break. And as I said again, pacing, very important. So he started it with an intro shot, then very fast paced montage, then a short section where he took like a little bit of a breather for like five seconds. Then another very fast montage and now another break, this time even longer. And now he starts explaining what the video is about. Today is all about sound. Let's go. 
And now here in this last montage, she stopped using the sound effects and just edits to the beat of the music. And here directly, you can actually see the difference. Most cameras, if you record in 120 frames per second or slower, then you have to actually find additional sound effects because they don't even record sound at that frame rate. So here, for example, this looks like it's in very slow motion. If I had to put sound over that, I would think about, okay, we have traffic. We can, on any website there, we find sound effects. We can search for traffic, city, cars, traffic jam, traffic sounds, all that kind of stuff. And then you search as long as you find something that fits this clip. You download it, put it under it, and you're good to go. And that's pretty much the options that you have to improve your videos with sound effects. I think this was a really, really, really great example. Alan is an absolutely amazing photographer and as you see also here, like an incredible video creator. I hope you learned a couple of things about editing with sound effects. If you enjoyed this video breakdown, then over here you find a playlist with lots more of reaction analysis videos from this series. Also, don't forget to subscribe down here to get more of those. Until next time.